Yo, what up? This your boy Fred the Corp. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and subscribe, do your thing. Um, this video right here is basically the last video before Super Drive Weekend, which is coming up Saturday and Sunday. I know everybody should have a drive on Saturday and Sunday coming up this weekend. I got two drafts coming up. Um, first, I want to get started with my Bucks. If you have Derek Ward on your team, go ahead and drop him. Just get rid of this guy. He's uh, been released, so he should not be holding a roster spot on your team. No way, no how. And if you have this guy on your team, you are an idiot. And uh, Santonio San Holmes, um, he's coming. He'll be back week five. And um, I want to say, go ahead and draft this guy, but draft this guy pretty late. Get him about uh, get him in, if you can get him in the tenth round, eleventh round. Go ahead and get him. Um, but Mark Sanchez, his values dropped on Mark Sanchez. Obviously, Mark Sanchez is not being Roethlisberger. And uh, if you got Braylon Edwards, I wouldn't start Braylon Edwards until week five. Because teams are going to be doubling up on Braylon Edwards. He will not get open. He already can barely catch as it is. So, you know what I'm saying? Just wait till uh, San Antonio Holmes come back. And uh, then you start Edwards. If you already drafted him. If you haven't drafted Edwards, oh man, I wouldn't even draft Edwards at all. And speaking of Mark Sanchez, do not draft Mark Sanchez either. Um... This guy is totally not NFL ready. Came out of college too early. And, um, you know, Rex Ryan, everybody's hyping this guy up. And, you know what I'm saying? You can hype somebody up, but you got to perform on the field. Big time players make big time plays in big time games. Always remember that. And uh, Donald Brown. Donald Brown could be a good steal in the draft. Because Joseph had died, he's uh, he's older now. He's uh, three years removed from that 16 touchdown season, and he just got a concussion uh, trying to make a tackle. So this guy can't even tackle without getting hurt. So he's become Mr. Breakable, A.K.A. Mr. Glass. Joseph would die. Um, if I was you, I would not draft this guy in the second round. Don't even waste. A second round pick on Joseph Adai. If you can go for like a Ryan Matthews, I would say do that. And um, Darren McFadden, it's crazy. Now all of a sudden he's the guy to draft now because Michael Bush has a broken thumb <coughs> or a broken index finger. So. If I was you, I wouldn't even draft any Oakland running backs at all. Do not take a Oakland running back in the draft. You know, now one of the guys ain't worth it. McFadden or Bush. Do not draft any one of those guys. You don't do you. You do not want to deal with this headache during the season. Trust me, it's gonna be one big headache because you don't know when to start the guy. You don't know who's gonna get the ball, and Oakland sucks. <coughs> and you know Oakland is bad if they are inquiring to get Matt Liner through a trade because Jason Campbell has already been hurt. Not even the fourth preseason game hasn't even played yet and the Raiders offense is just horrible. And uh, <clears throat> the next player is uh, Jacoby Jones, Houston Texans. Uh, I say if you get a chance, draft this guy. He's going to do big things. Have you seen their last preseason game? Matt Schaub, Shabby, the Schaub, he was looking for this guy. So, Jacoby will get the ball. And, you know, I want to look at the Houston Texans as an AFC version of the New Orleans Saints. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in that offense gets the ball. No matter if you're third string, fourth string, water boy on the bench, uh, the bus driver, Schaub is going to get you the ball. Jacoby Jones is clearly number two. Wide receiver out there, and um, you know, Andre Johnson, he can't catch every single ball. So, I say if you get a chance, 
to draft Jones, I would I would I would take this guy. I would take him over a lot of people. I would take him over Derek Mason. I would take him over um, Donald Driver. You know, um, he's gonna get you quality points week in and week out. You know what I'm saying? Um, the next guy is uh, Laurent Robinson, St. Louis Rams. Uh, yeah, Donnie Avery. You know, ACL injury to the knee. He's out for the whole season. No more Donnie Avery. So. That means Laurent Robinson is the Rams' number one wide receiver. Um, Sam Bradford, unfortunately, he's a rookie, $80 million rookie, but he has to throw the ball to somebody. But if you get desperate enough to start a Rams receiver, like if you're in a 16-man league, 14-man league, it's a stretch for 10-man. 10-man league, you shouldn't have to started Rams wide receiver but if you do I don't know why but um if you're in a 16 man league I say get LeJuan Robinson it'd be a good steal in the late rounds but uh I wouldn't plan on getting him any earlier than any late rounds gonna get him early and uh Pittsburgh still is Mike Wallace um case this guy's been lighting it up he lit it up last year but he's already lighting it up this preseason um Ben Roethlisberger is trying to get his six-game suspension appealed to three games. So uh, there's value with Mike Wallace. So uh, clearly, Heinz Ward is not the same Heinz Ward, but Heinz Ward will get touchdowns and will get the ball. But Heath Miller, come on now, Mike Wallace is the man. He's the fastest guy on their team, offensive-wise. Clearly, he will be the deep threat. So if you're looking. For that home run guy to get you 20 points in one play in fantasy, you may want to holler at your boy Mike Wallace, Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, you can't get him in the late rounds. You're going to have to get him early. Uh, I'm judging around about five or six. You got to get him in the sixth or the fifth round. Um, if you wait any later, he will not be available. And uh, back to your boy Matt Leiner. Um crazy man this guy he's on all the front covers of all the magazines US Weekly he has the girls USC but man you gotta have an arm in the NFL you know you, you you can't throw every pass five yards down the field so if you drafted Matt Liner in any league uh, first you need to be you need to get the league's uh, worst team trophy and uh, also you you need to drop this guy immediately and uh, scoop up Derek Anderson because clearly they're going to trade Matt Liner. Derek Anderson is clearly the man. And uh, I look for Matt Liner to be traded by Friday. Look for him to be a New York Giant. Uh, I, I see him on the Giants backing up Eli Manning. <clears throat> um, and also, too, uh, what I've learned this preseason is. Your boy, Jermichael Finley, Green Bay Packers. This guy is the truth. If you're looking to draft the tight end, get Jermichael Finley. And just take him in the third round, fourth round. I wouldn't even waste any time. Like This guy is fantasy gold. I mean, like, tch, lighten it up. Your boy Rodgers, he loves this guy, man. Um... They got good camaraderie. They've been together all offseason. Um, Rodgers is clearly the best quarterback this whole preseason. Um, um, it, j it just shows on the field. I mean, the whole Green Bay offense is gold. Uh, <laughs> in my 10-man league, I scooped up the kicker. I don't, I don't have any Green Bay players, but I was able to get Mason Crosby. So if you get a chance, uh, draft Mason Crosby as well. Uh, he's going to get you about 9 to 11 points a game. Um, if you have any questions, leave it at the bottom. Uh, put your team at the bottom. I'll rate your team, uh, let you know what I think. Go ahead and subscribe. And get at your boyfriend, the court, man. Peace.